Hi you guys, welcome to the vlogs, the moving vlogs, moving series one. If you guys have been keeping up with the videos, you would have just watched the empty house tour, which I literally just filmed. And now we're starting off a new vlog of like actually starting to move in. It's currently two o'clock. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I've done like four truckloads, filled my car to the brim and brought stuff over just like Slowly but surely, Dylan should be off of work in like an hour and his parents should be here any second. I came over to the new place because the Wi-Fi guy is coming from two to four is like the window. So I just tried to get as much stuff over as I could. So then while he's working on getting the Wi-Fi set up, I could like unpack and organize. So I wanted to start off a vlog. I just ran to Chick-fil-A to grab lunch um, and I got a Coke, which I shouldn't have, but I was like craving it. We have so much to do. I think I overanalyzed like how much work. I'm mean, about I just forgot how much work moving is. Moving while pregnant is no joke and also doing it alone. Like I've literally, everything you see in this house I've brought in by myself. And I can't really do a ton of heavy lifting obviously. So I just brought over like the little bit of knickknack things. So we're gonna get the kitchen somewhat organized. I wanna show you like what I've done so far. We're down here in the kitchen. I did bring these bar stools over. I got them in the car pretty easily. They're not super heavy. So that's nice. At least there's like some type of seating over here because we have nothing over here. I have just like the essentials. I brought some cleaning stuff over, some hand soap. We've got my lunch. I put some waters and stuff in here. Random like decor pieces. They're not gonna stay here. I was just getting them up there on the shelves. I also brought over this new thing of pans, which I'm gonna unbox here in a second. Caraway sent us like the whole entire, what is this? The nonstick pans. They sent them around Christmas time and I had them just sitting in the garage because we love the Our Place pans, but I figured a fresh set of pots and pans for the new place would be nice. And then the Our Place pans will still fit because we have so many cabinets. So I'll keep and use both. I'll let you guys know which one we end up liking more. Some other random decor. This lamp looks so cute in this kitchen. I'm excited about that. I brought this rug, which used to be the runner in our kitchen now. I feel like it's a little short for the area, but I just have it centered with the stove and I think it's fine. This kind of has just been my dump all area. So I brought all the rugs over. This is like random Amazon stuff. I got like a new laundry hamper. This is a bath rod, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Brought rug right here over. We've got, this rug has been out in our garage since like Christmas of last year. So it's super dented up. So I'm kind of just letting it air out. This is gonna be the rug that goes in this room. Brought over some random stuff here, a bunch of new rugs, pillows, a bunch of new trash cans. I got these from Target, some soap stuff. So we have all of that. I did put this bench here, which I really love. I just got this recently from Envision Design and I'm obsessed with it. I think it matches this like little hallway perfect plenty of room to still walk but like how cute i love the fur on this so this will stay here i was gonna put at the end of our bed but i was like i kind of like it here it gives this like area some decor i just started putting like random like i have some containers and stuff brought over the wine glasses it doesn't look like i've brought over as much as i feel like i've brought over oh i brought this over because i was gonna mop the floors but it's raining out so i figured I'll just wait till everything is moved in just because everyone's like gonna have their shoes on and stuff. I'm glad I brought this little tripod because I have nowhere to set you guys up. But I guess I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna start unpacking some more stuff. I have a lot of stuff from the pantry like crock pots and things like that in the car still. So I need to run out and get those. I'm gonna eat this quick while it's hot and then I'll update you guys when we have more things to update you on. I did forget scissors, so let's see how this goes. I've been sitting here for an hour, still no Wi-Fi update, so that kind of blows. I hate doing stuff like that. I feel like it wastes your whole day. I picked up this like really pretty cream color. Ooh, I think this is the white eye. Dylan just came and dropped a bunch of bags off for me to like start doing the closet and the bathroom and stuff. So I'm starting to like unpack and organize all of that. Um, but I feel like when they come into the Wi-Fi, it takes so long. They got here around 3.30ish and it is 
610. It literally took him that long. Wi-Fi is up and running, so I'm not complaining, but I'm gonna unpack, organize some of the stuff. It's kind of like a mess right now. Closet situation, Dylan brought his stuff over. So I've just been like doing the drawers here. We decided that he'll have like this side, like this corner. I gave him all of these drawers because he has more clothes that like don't need to be hung up than I do. I'll probably use this side and then this whole side here. And then we're also gonna have a dresser in our bedroom, but kind of just like unpacking the boxes. And then I'm gonna figure out like what goes where for the closet once we have like everything here. Like I have all my bags and stuff, but I need to get, I need to order like a stepping stool because I can't reach half the stuff. Currently doing Dylan's like clothes that go in the drawers. So I kind of just started doing that over here. So this is what y'all have been doing. <laughs> Look, you want to see outside? Wow. You can go down there. <laughs> we had to make this little area for Woody because we don't have our rug in here yet. She's freaking out, does not know how to act. She's like, what is going on? Got our bed on the floor. We just made our bed. And yeah, it's just kind of a mess, but we are all so exhausted. I did some shoes and random things. I have all my bags right here. I need to get my acrylic bag organizers from the old place and put them up here. I think I'm gonna put bags and stuff up here. My duffel up here. Started putting boots up here. What do you think? <laughs> all right, we're gonna go to bed and we'll see you for day two. We've made huge progress. We've got the couch in, chairs in. Dylan, his dad, and Kellen are carrying this concrete table and it's stressing me out. You want me? Are you good? Oh God. And I'm being no help. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm not pregnant and I'm also no help. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. All right. Watch the door. Dad, just be ready to help us square it back up. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Wait. Ah. My fingertips. Yeah, you know, Is that helping? Yes. Yes. Wow. Right. Let's square it up. No, don't you go wow, that way. Wow. Look at that. Sir, they said was harder than this. Oh. No, that big dresser upstairs. Make sure that's straight. You just hit it. There. Good. <laughs> All right, go. Okay. Perfect. Put it down. Nice and easy. Go towards Dylan a little bit. Good, right there. Okay, it's good. No, it's good. Lift up, go towards Kellen a hair. Down. You're in. You're wow. in the nature. So now this table, this corner, right here. Dad, none of us can see this where you're going. Mom, mom, mom can see it. It's got to go towards the back. back. Yeah, yes. Okay. We got to push it a little bit. Push back your arm. Yes. I can see push. it angled. Yes. So, so barely, barely lift. Like barely lift. Barely left one, two, three. Yep, right there. Hold on. Okay, now go to the other, this side. I could use this. Pull it towards the kitchen. Okay. Just a hair. Go. Okay, good. Holy mo- Oh, it looks really good in here. Oh, that does look good, right? And look at how, so you were you were surprised we did that. Just that. Just you you know, right? Right? Is that still going? Yeah. Schmeck it, right? it. <laughs> Schmeck it. What do you guys say? Schmeck it. <laughs> Smack it. it Alright, let's it. put the chairs and see how it Spank works. Spank it and rank it. Don't pick that. So everything's, everything yeah. is good to go. Are Take you it. alive? I don't know if he's going to go and get back up. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, don't hit your head on your way. Oh, imagine. Oh. And then the scab busts oh, no. on, the, on the rug. Oh. And then we have to move the table because you got to get a new rug because there's blood on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you, was everything out of your car? Vision or did you no. also shower? So, uh, so we're not going to load that. But it's hard 
Hi you guys, it is Monday, so it's been the full weekend, the craziest, busiest weekend moving all this stuff into the house. As you guys can see, we basically got all the furniture pieces without movers with the help of Dylan's family into this house, which I'm so excited about. Now we just need to like get organizing and do all that stuff. So I just wanted to continue this vlog because I was the worst at vlogging this weekend. I think I underestimated my ability <laughs> to be pregnant and to move. I was not much help with lifting stuff, um, but I like have the whole kitchen moved over, unpacked. I still need to get the closets from the old place. Like all of our clothes are still mostly over there. Um, and just like kind of get this place organized. So we're gonna continue the moving content, but we do have all of the furniture over, which is like so exciting. I love how the place is coming together. I'm excited to give you guys some updates. I had a little event this morning with Target. So I didn't film this morning, so I was kind of running around doing all that stuff. I got a spray tan last night. And let me tell you guys, if you're feeling a little bit down about yourself, get a spray tan. And I swear it like changes everything. I was even more tan last night. I got a spray tan last night. And then this morning I showered before the event and I'm like, I don't want to shower anymore because every time I shower, it slowly starts to come off. But I just feel so much better having a little bit of tan on right now. So we are doing a little bit of work. I'm just doing a little bit of catch up because I was not on emails or anything this morning and we just had like the busiest weekend. But for the most part, we are moved into this place and we just need to get stuff hung. We need to get TVs hung. Um, the dogs are loving it. It's like going really well. We love this spot and this place so much. We love the neighborhood. Um, the area and we're just like excited to be here a little change of scenery I've been posting some little sneak peeks here on Instagram and all of you guys are so excited to see the place So the empty house tour would have already gone up So if you guys missed that don't forget to watch that But this is kind of still continuing into like moving series one, I guess um, We just have a lot to organize and unpack. There's some few furniture pieces that are missing that I want to order there's a little bookshelf for the living room that I think would look nice that I kind of want to order and get some dimensions for. We need to hang up some stuff. There's still boxes, just like stuff everywhere, how the moving goes. But I'm about to jump on a call for a little bit for a work meeting. It'll be like 30 minutes. I want to bring you guys along for the rest of the day. Dylan's at work all day. He'll be probably at work like till late. Um, so it's just me and the dogs here. And I want to get some stuff organized. I have the laundry room, the washer and dryer were delivered two days ago and I'm obsessed with the washer and dryer. I've been doing laundry, catching up there, just getting stuff over from the other house. I'll probably make like two more truckloads of some clothes today. So I'll bring you guys along for that, but it's going well. The house is great. We love it. So I'm going to hop on a meeting quick and then we'll check back in after, but I just want to say hello. Good morning. It's kind of like the afternoon, but we are organizing, we're cleaning, we're moving. We're doing all that stuff today. I want to just like walk you guys through the main floor of the house at least because I feel like this is a little bit more put together than upstairs and show y'all what we have going on. This is just here for temporary, this mattress, because um, we had family obviously in town this weekend to help. They had to sleep on this, but I'm thinking I'm just going to slide this mattress. We're going to decollapse this box spring because it comes apart, put this in storage, but we're going to slide this mattress into this back closet and just whenever guests come for the time being, put it back on the floor, but this is the room I wanna make my desk area, little office area for filming, clothes, PR packages, stuff like that. So I'm gonna put a little desk right here. We've got this little wicker chair that we used to have in the other place. And then I have my mirror right here, a little vintage rug out, but obviously this will not stay, but for the time being, we just have been throwing pillows and blankets on it. This is like the truth behind moving. It's always like pretty chaotic until you get everything put together. Put this cute rug out. Looks really nice in here. Bathroom's there. I just put this together last night. I got this new rolling laundry hamper that I'm very excited about off of Amazon. I can link it for you guys. It's a pretty good size. And I'm excited because we have these long hallways and we can put it in our back bedroom and I can just roll it to the laundry room. All this stuff is obviously not staying here. We're just kind of getting stuff over, but we have the kitchen table moved over. I think I vlogged the boys lifting it. I was very scared for them to lift this on their own we ended up not even having to hire movers like they literally got everything over here which is very exciting so i think the table fits and looks really nice here like i said kitchen is mostly unpacked like all of our dishes and everything are in the cabinets it's just things need to be organized like obviously this is a mess right now what do you think of the new place <laughs> do you like it summer clothes bins that are too heavy for me to bring upstairs on my own so i need dylan to help with that this table we're trying to figure out what to do with it it doesn't look good here because one, the concretes are different tones 
and it's just like a little bit tight you guys can see like we're walking through it's just like tight with this end chair here it just feels better to have each end open like over here it feels way more open you can walk through into the living room this i think might either go into my office or upstairs i'm not exactly sure yet but this art is definitely going to go here i think it looks really nice between these windows we still have to get like window treatments and stuff but i thought doing a little like sconce above here with this frame hanging would be really pretty kind of the view from over here in the living room we got this new rug winnie's in the process of <laughs> finishing her breakfast i got this new rug in from rugs usa and i'm obsessed with it you guys it's so good it doesn't show dirt from the dogs as easily and it's so comfy on the feet it's from the arvin collection with rugs usa and i have a rugs usa code so i'll link this rug it's so good they have other colors too i want to get this rug in like every room obsessed with it the olive tree here i think it looks so nice in this corner I'm just like obsessed with the lighting and the look of this house. It's very, very cute. These chairs are not staying here. I have to figure out the layout of the living room. It's a little bit tighter than our last place. So we actually ignore the way this looks because I need to like wash the cushions and fluff it because this couch has been sitting in our garage. But we ended up going with this couch again. Luckily, we didn't end up selling it quite yet. Um, and the sectional is going to go into storage for the time being because the sectional we brought over here did not look good. And this couch looked great here. So... We have this couch here. I'm gonna do window treatments right here. I'm trying to figure out what to do with the chairs. If you guys have any ideas, I wanna do a big book shelf case like in this nook out of the way for storage. I was thinking it would be kind of cute to do like chair and chair, but then it kind of eliminates the fact that you could sit in the chair and watch the TV, which that whole mess right there is the TV. We have some guy coming tomorrow to hang it. I think I wanna get a big round circle, like soft ottoman for your feet and then also like once the baby's here i think it'll be not that the baby's gonna be like walking and crawling right away but these sharp edges i think it'll just be nice to have a big comfy circle coffee table here with the couch and you can put your feet up and stuff but for right now this coffee table is great looks good and then i just need to figure out what to do with the chair so it's like a work in progress but this is kind of the update for the living room i just really think this couch looks better so we're going to stick with this one it's from six penny the same color as the sectional it's just not the sectional it's just the three piece this couch out here we ended up putting two pieces i don't know how to look at these we ended up putting this couch is just a regular couch i have white cushions for this i'm going to switch them over today actually and get these gray ones in the wash they're all muddy from the dogs from the last backyard um, but we've got outdoor rug. This is also Rugs USA. I just got this one. I can link it. Coffee table. And then obviously I have random stuff going on right here. But we put another piece of the couch right here. But I'm going to change all of these to white cushions. Because I think it'll look better. But we also hung a TV out here. Need to tuck this cord and stuff. But we were sitting out here last night. Because we don't have our TV hung inside. And it's literally such a vibe out here at nighttime. Obsessed with this at night. The dogs love it. I leave this door open. I actually just ordered a little... Um, gate to go right here for the dog so i can like leave them up here to make sure they're not digging out in the backyard but they love it out here fan and a light and it's just so nice to have another like sitting area that's kind of what we have going on right now i feel like we've made a lot of progress but there's still a lot of stuff to do just got back home it is much later it's dark outside but i'm about to try to switch over these outdoor cushions to white um if you guys remember i got this couch this outdoor like patio set from outer i worked with them like i think it was like two years ago and when i ordered the couch i ordered the cream cushions but they were out of stock so they sent the gray and then like months later they sent the white and i just never switched them over they've been sitting in our garage so we're gonna switch them over see how it looks i know white with dogs is not smart but i'm like they're sitting there so i just want to try it see how long they last they are washable which is nice poured myself a little olipop the birds are like out tonight chirping you guys can hear that i have this little door open the dogs are just hanging out i'm out here with the fan and light on might turn on some tv Do you guys hear the birds they're going literally nuts right now it's a little dark out here but here's the cream cushions i have them all in this bag i just brought them over in this Bag. I'll link these packing bags again. They've been so nice during moving. Yeah. 
Why is putting cushions on like the biggest workout ever? See how long they last and stay white. <laughs> But again, you can wash them. Yeah, we love this. We have the corner piece. This is actually a sectional. Obviously, this piece goes on the end. And then there's another piece right here. Um, but we put that in storage for down the road use in case we ever need a sectional again. But it just fits better in this space like this. So we love it. And it's from Outer. If you guys are looking for outdoor furniture, the coffee table is also from there. It looks like it's all stained up, but it's just wet from my cup. I just went and grabbed some coasters so it would stop doing that. But really great quality outdoor furniture. I desperately need to go to the grocery store. So I just ordered, I told myself this the last time I can order Uber Eats, but I got the quesadilla from Chipotle, which apparently, I don't know if this is true in every location, but around us are Chipotle, like you can't get the quesadilla in the store. You have to order it for delivery. So a little treat. I just got chicken, rice, and then fajita veggies in there. And then I did some toppings, a little side of chips i have the rest of my olipop here i'm just waiting on dylan to come home he should be walking in the door any second i don't know if that noise is the wine fridge or if it's the laundry upstairs it's like so loud let's do the wine fridge our house has home security and the panel for it's in the front of the house and i think it's missing a battery because it will not stop beeping it keeps saying like back door open and it's not open so i need to figure out what's going on because when he's like what is that beeping? I think it's freaking her out. So other than that, our fridge is kind of tripping a little bit. We have to figure out what's going on with that. Um, just like a few little house things. You know, when you like move into a new place, you're trying to like learn the beeps and all that stuff of the house and like what the appliances sound like. Um, so there's like a few random beeps and noises here and there that I'm like, wait, what is that? So I'm gonna eat this dinner, wait on Dylan to get home. And then I wanna hang that picture frame right there. Hopefully Dylan will do it for me. I know it's late, so he might be like, no. Because um, he's been literally working all day, so we might hang some stuff up tomorrow. But when I unload the car, I have a big load of clothes and stuff in the car, and then we'll do it all again tomorrow. I wanted to see if we could hang that picture. Yeah. We can. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say no. Come on, baby. I was recording you because I was telling the vlog. I was like, he's been at work all day today. Surely he'll be like, can we do it another night? No. I feel like that frame's not too hard to hang. No, not at all. If we just do that one? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> later in the day I'm kind of just like tackling little thing by thing unloading stuff getting stuff put away I'm currently kind of getting stuff put away in the pantry I don't want to show you guys the pantry yet because I want to do like an organizing type of video and I want to go to the container store or like Marshall's or something and get some bins and stuff but I had dog bins over at the other house I just brought all of their like supplements treats all that kind of stuff over I wanted to share these two products specifically this is the restore and soothe shampoo from pet honesty and this is the restore and soothe spray which I absolutely Absolutely love um, and this is from their new grooming line both lavender scent really great ingredients no harsh chemicals no toxins anything like that in their products you guys know I give them the multivitamin and the pre and probiotic I like love this brand um, I'm very passionate about like what I put into my body and the things that I'm taking and making sure there's like no bad harsh chemicals ingredients things like that and I feel like I should be cautious and do the same for the dog so this has been a lifesaver I'm excited to have a sensitive skin wash um, especially for Winnie I feel like doodles also because I know my mom's dog has this issue she has a doodle and then my sister Emily she has two dogs and they both have super sensitive skin as well Winnie is always itching and licking at her front paw so I've been spraying this on to her like once or twice daily you can use it daily up to two times a day they just kind of say like rub the area before shake well and then you just spray onto the affected area and i feel like it's been helping she normally like is like digging at her paw and like right here specifically on her front arm and i think this is like doing a huge huge difference i'll do it on rue sometimes but i don't think her skin is as um, sensitive as winnie's and then i also have these the allergy support i feel like both of the dogs 
kind of benefit from these, um, especially Winnie, supports dogs with seasonal allergies, also supports the immune and gut health at the same time, which is great. But the spray and the shampoo, like I was saying, no harsh chemicals. It's powered by all natural clinically studied micro silver and it's recommended by four out of five vets for fast relief from like itching and long-term skin health. Plus it's gentle enough for every day-to-day -day use on sensitive skin. I wanted to quickly talk about these products before I put them away. I'm actually gonna go put this one upstairs in our master bath because that's normally where we get the dogs showers and stuff they just get in the shower with us and the smell and stuff of this i've washed them both with this winnie with it twice brew with it once it just smells so good like it's just very clean you can tell it's not like over fragrant nice little lavender scent so you guys can find all these products at pethonesty.com and you can also use my code rachel for 25 percent off of your first purchase if you're new to pet honesty and trying out some of their products once you try them out, you will not go back. The dogs love them and I feel good knowing that it's clean ingredient stuff that I'm giving to them. So again, my code, I'll link it down below for you guys, but I'll also put it here on the screen. It's Rachel, gets you 25% off of your first purchase with Pet Honesty. Check them out. Thank you, Pet Honesty, for sponsoring this video. I love the brand. I love you guys and my dogs love you guys even more. So I'm gonna put these up and I think we're gonna do a little target run because there's a few things that I need to get here and there. Um, the builder's coming over at 6.30, it's currently 3. I feel like my day has just like gone away from me because I had like meetings and stuff and just catching up with work and all that kind of stuff. We leave for Mexico a week from yesterday and I'm kind of like, oh my God, we need to get our lives together before we leave on a trip. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Walking into Target now, I have a few things that I need to grab for the house and then I also just have a few little things that I want to look at and then I'm gonna head to the grocery store to get groceries so Dylan and I can make some dinner tonight have a few returns so it's also raining which I'm sad about Just left Target. I really didn't need to go into Target besides I had some stuff to return. I had at that Target event. Um, I don't think I vlogged. Yeah, I didn't. It was yesterday. And I ordered two sizes in the pants for the event. I wore like a really cute linen outfit. I can insert a picture. I can also link the outfit. I have the bag actually still in my car. This little purse. So cute. And I think it was like $20. And it comes with a long strap too, but I took it off from Target. I can link that for you guys. Um but I had to go return the smaller size pant. I thought I was gonna be a certain size, but I, luckily I got another size too, because that belly is growing quick. Um, and then I just got a few like random miscellaneous things that I could use around the new place. So I'll show you guys a little Target haul when I get back. I also got these blow pop minis and I started eating them in the store already. I was only allowing myself to have the red because I don't want my mouth to turn blue or green but they're so good and I just like, I don't know, I have a really bad relationship with candy at the moment and I need to stop, but it's just so good. So anyways, off to Publix, I'm gonna get ingredients for dinner. We're gonna do chicken Caesar wraps. And I'm excited because that sounds so good. Dylan was like, can we make chicken Caesar wraps? I'm like, we've never made that before, but I'm like, how hard can it be? I'm just gonna do like some grilled chicken make a mix of Caesar salad, mix it all together, roll it up, and that's dinner. So I think they'll be quick and easy. Back from the grocery store, back from Target. Hi, love. Lately, I've been grocery shopping per meal just because with being pregnant, it's like I have no idea what I want. The cravings are just kind of random. So I got stuff for dinner tonight and then just like some random snacks, some restocks, um, lettuce for the wraps tonight. These little mandarin oranges looks really yummy. I got some hummus with these fire roasted jalapeno, the Stacy's, they're so good. Um, some avocados. I was snacking on this in the grocery store. It's so yummy. Pre-made chicken salad just to go on like bread and stuff for an easy lunch. Wraps for tonight. Parmesan cheese. I already have Caesar dressing and croutons. I got some little mini ginger ales to put in the wine fridge because Dylan likes to have these like with a cocktail at night. So I remember we were out so I grabbed some of those. I got literally the last Chobani creamer on the shelf and it was like dented in because um, we were out. And then I got some whole milk, lunch meat, and then chicken breast for dinner tonight. Okay, that is all 
put away. I'm just gonna put these up quick. I'm wearing another color in that Abercrombie set. I'm literally obsessed. They sent me more colors and they just fit so nice. These are actually the medium jogger. I sized down in the black and the gray, but the green one you guys can see me wear is the large. Honestly, they're getting a little tight. I could probably do the large, but they just are so cozy and comfy. So we're gonna put these ginger guys in here. Little Target haul. We've got, I went to get like a few storage things. I probably should go to the container store. Or honestly, I need to look on like Amazon and Marshalls because I feel like Target for container stuff and especially the container store, it's like so overpriced. Um, but I got this two tier little organizer thing and I'm either gonna put it down here for like cleaning supplies or I'm gonna put it upstairs in the guest bathroom. I feel like if it fits under here and it makes sense with the cleaning supplies, I'll definitely put it under here because I really need something like double layered. And then I got, I stocked up on a bunch of new kitchen towels. I feel like they just get bad and I like to always keep up and refresh them. So I got these washcloths, really cute little peach color for spring from the Hearth and Hand Magnolia collection. And then I got three of the tea towels that I just always have over the dishwasher handle or the oven handle and I use these all the time. I have a few in the drawer that I need to toss out because I'll wipe the dog's paws with them when they come inside and they're just getting kind of gross. Um, and then I saw these little peach hand towels for the guest bathroom. It matches the rug in there. So I thought those were cute. I ordered a set of Brooklinen hand towels for the master bathroom and then for the baby's room. Like that goes with the color of like the little theme I'm going for for his room. but. Those looked cute and they're the, I think they're just like the Target brand, they were 10 bucks, yeah, Threshold. And I thought that they were a cute little fun color. I also got this turnable little organization thing which is either gonna go in the pantry, I mean I can put this literally anywhere in the house, I have like a few of these already and I love them. Um, under the bathroom sink, under this sink, like wherever, they're just very useful and helpful for organization. This was like a random purchase, it's, the brand Figment, and it's just like a really tiny, thin cutting board. It was like five bucks. Sometimes I have this wooden one out on the counter right now, but sometimes I put that one away and it's like a hassle to take it out if you're just trying to make like a quick bite or something. So I wanted to get one of these to just like throw in and out of the dishwasher, the sink, and just have on hand. So I'm excited about that. I need to wash it quick. Dylan needed toothpaste and body wash so I picked up this is like our favorite the crust whitening and then I got this new body wash just the dove lime and avocado oil it smells really good I was like sitting there smelling all of them so I got him that and then I also picked up this little thing to go on the inside of our sink just to put like the scrub daddy because right now it's just like sitting out and then I got this citronella candle for outside I was looking for some like patio throw blankets and like throw pillows but they didn't have any at Target so I feel like I need to look online but they did have this citronella candle which is like so cute it's the mcgee and co collab and i thought it would look cute sitting out there on the coffee table i'm gonna put that out there that's a little target haul nothing crazy i really didn't need much for moving over here i feel like normally when i move it's like i need to restock the whole fridge i need to restock all the cleaning supplies like all of that kind of stuff because normally we're moving far and i normally toss the stuff out before we leave so it's less to like haul with us um but with this move since we were moving from like the same state to the same state it was just easy like i literally brought the whole fridge over all the cleaning supplies we really didn't need much just a few like organization things here and there here's the current underneath so I'm gonna see if I can make this a little bit better. I mean, this basket here is fine, but it doesn't fit everything. I feel like we could use some storage situation in here. This is literally night and day. I ended up being able to fit both underneath here. So I have like all the shorter stuff that I don't really reach for as much, like hand soap, lotion, things like that. I actually forgot to get dishwasher pods. That's also why I went to Target, but we have a few left. And then this pulls out, has all my like um, branch basics cleaning. Um, mop stuff in the back and then we have some other cleaning here that's like taller and everything fits literally perfect so this was a great idea and then i just have trash bags over here and then just a random hand lotion so love we just finished dinner i forgot to film it but we just made grilled chicken wraps it's honestly so good we made the chicken and the cast iron i use sammy i forget her last name it's on tiktok it's like juicy chicken 101 recipe 
It was so good. Last night, I think it was, Dylan didn't have any of his tools here. So we just ran to the other house to grab some of them. We just moved that little table or Dylan moved it over here. And I think once we hang some curtains, it actually looks really cute right here. There's plenty of walkway. This is not gonna stay here. It does not look good. That's cute. And then we're gonna hang this frame right here. Obviously these bins will be gone. We had an Amazon package come in. I think this is a little like retractable gate situation that I got for the outside so the dogs can stay outside but like not go down to the grass and mud at all times. So I'll probably put this together tomorrow. It's kind of late to do all of this. I think we're just gonna try to get this frame up. Dylan forgot to bring blue tape over so hopefully he doesn't screw it up. Really? <laughs> we have got the iPad out. Rachel, here. relax. I don't know how high my hope is with this. What's going on? What's the drawing for? Rachel. I feel like that's like perfect. Right here? Can you get the um Well go down like one? Go. What are you doing, Anya? I feel like you're There's stressed pencil out. In the front of the bed. Are you stressed out? No. Are you nervous you're gonna mess no, up? No, 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 like the front of that tool bag. Are you you did say book bag. I know. I know. <laughs> are you scared you're gonna mess it up? No. Is that why you're, you're all stressed out? No, babe. Okay, hang it up one more time. Right here? Um a little higher. A little lower. A little higher. A little, <laughs> a little higher. Like half an inch higher. <laughs> Why don't you think it's funny? Babe, because I'm making sure I do this shit right. Almost them out on level and you'll say it's not level. Well, it's like it's not. Like, Show I, me how to make it level. I have the perfect eye. I don't know how to make level, but I know how to tell if it is or isn't. <laughs> Put your brother in there. Are you excited to meet him? Are you excited to meet him? <laughs> you are. <laughs> you excited? No, we're not. We're not getting all wild up. Crushed it. It only took me like 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a big level. I didn't have the tape. You no, know, it looks really good. I think right now, on camera at least, it looks a little low. But I'm gonna put a light above that, like Are a little- you telling me or the vlog? Cause you asked me. <laughs> I'm telling the vlog. But also I feel like sometimes I like art to be a little low. Like I think that that looks nice. Once we have curtains and then a little sconce above. I think that's pretty. Kind of loud because I have obviously the washer and dryer going, but I never showed you guys the washer and dryer we went with. I can link them below. My parents have these in Florida and we also had them at our house. Um, like the older version, I guess, at our house growing up. My mom is like laundry queen. I feel like I always talk about this. She always has loads going and she's just so quick at laundry and these have been so nice. I've already done so many loads. Um, I got them off of Home Depot. They came, installed them, delivered them, all that. So I have some washcloth right now, some towels and sheets, and then we have some fresh sheets in the dryer right now, so we're gonna make the bed and put these on. One minute left, but obsessed with having this little laundry room. I put this cute little lamp here. We've got Tide Pods, and then the builder's actually coming back to install. We're missing a few shelves in some of the cabinets, but I have all this stuff organized in here, so this is very nice to have. And then, I think I showed you guys this. I put together our little rolling hamper. We've got this, which we're gonna like put on a hook and hang it up right here. And then this is a little um, wire rack that extends from the wall so you can like hang clothes and stuff. I got this off of Amazon. We'll install it later this week and I'll show you guys. Bed's ready, Dylan. What? No, I gotta go back downstairs. Well, I'm excited to have these sheets back on. I like these sheets. But all the pillowcases aren't done. They're in that load right now. Here you go. Got it? Yep. Oh, babe, you're pulling your side way too tight. I cannot even get mine. I want tight. I can't even get mine tough because my, my, I can't get it tight because it feels like my nail is going to snap. Closing up the house for the night. I'm going to end off this vlog because I feel like I don't even know what is in this vlog. We have the bedroom and stuff. All the furniture is up here. It's just not really organized, but we have so much floor space in the dresser. I'm gonna show you guys in the next vlog, like the upstairs, because I think I only showed you 
kind of downstairs what we have going on, but this is the bedroom as of right now. The dogs love it. We just put fresh sheets on. Take out my earrings. I need to wash my face. Got these little earrings from Target and I've been wearing them for the past few days. They're so cute. They kind of look like the Bottega earring. I think that they were like 10 bucks. And I love them. They're really lightweight and I feel like they kind of just look casual but can elevate anything. I've been wearing sweat sets like crazy. You guys can obviously probably tell. And I just think that they look cute with any outfit. I'll try to link those, but I got them in the store. Like I got them a few days ago. So check out your local Target. The brand was um, A New Day, I believe. That jewelry brand that they carry. And they also carry clothes and shoes from them they have cute stuff i'm going to start off another vlog tomorrow i need to go to the old house and i need to get um a bunch of clothes out of the closet i wanted to do it today and i didn't get around to it but like i have no clothes here basically all my clothes are still over there minus like pajamas and like a few sweat sets and stuff that i've been living in over here because i have nothing else um so i'm gonna do that tomorrow we have a guy coming to hang the tv tomorrow um the couch delivery you guys the sectional couch if you guys remember when i got it i think it was like during the 12 days of vlogmas that i did the 12 days of christmas day one we got the sectional couch which i think i mentioned i'm like slowly losing my mind or maybe it's just pregnancy brain but i think i mentioned how the sectional like did not work in this space it just didn't look good um so we're keeping it but it's currently still at the other house um, and Dylan's parents are gonna come and get it Easter weekend. Um, so we'll get the couch back home and we're gonna store it in Dylan's parents' basement until we have the beach house built or if we need it in a future home or something just because it's such a good couch or if a family member needs it and we just bought it. Um, but the new piece, <laughs> if you guys remember, one of the pieces was damaged. So the new piece that isn't damaged is finally coming tomorrow. Um, which I still think is crazy. I think that customer service is ridiculous. I love six penny, but I'm like the fact that I waited 12 weeks for a couch and then you sent me a broken piece and then I had to wait another eight weeks for the piece to be remade. I'm like, I feel like there should be some type of rush order or something, but I know that's like maybe not possible, whatever. Anyways, the couch issue is going to be resolved tomorrow. But anyways, the sectional is not being sold. We love the sectional, but in this place, the other six penny couch just fits better. The couch issue is solved. We're keeping both couches, so I don't feel bad about not using the sectional because it will go to use in one of our family's homes or in one of our homes one day, um, but it's too new and good of a couch to like sell it. So we're gonna keep it in Dylan's parents' basement. Their basement is unfinished. So there's a lot of just like furniture and stuff in there. So we're gonna keep it down there in their basement. Luckily they're letting us use their basement for that. So I cannot believe my belly. I can feel him. He's moving a little bit right now. And he's sitting so, so low. I know, or I think I know that boys tend to sit lower than girls. And I just feel like I'm very low. And I can like feel him down here. I'm also getting that little line from the belly button down. I don't know if there's like a name for that, but I feel like that's common. I feel like I see that with a lot of pregnant women. So if there's like a name for that or a reason for that, let me know, because I'm like interested in why I have that line there. Um, but no stretch marks as of right now, not that I care if I did or didn't, but I have been oiling up the belly a ton and I think that it's helping just keep like my skin really moisturized. I've been loving the Summer Fridays belly balm and the Hatch belly oil. Wash my face, change, brush my teeth, do the whole belly oil situation, and then we're gonna get in bed. So if you guys made it to the end, um, thank you guys for watching. I know this vlog was probably a little bit chaotic, but it was a very chaotic weekend moving in, but I'm excited to be in the new place and making it slowly start feeling like home. I cannot wait to get the nursery together. I ordered a few furniture pieces today for that. And then also a new little ottoman coffee table that I think I was talking about earlier too. So we have some new furniture coming in that I'm excited to share and just like getting this place organized and starting the nest and the baby's room and all that kind of stuff. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.